A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. Zadok became the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar, Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord The Genealogy of Jesus Christ a relative recently produced a bound genealogy of our clan, tracing family roots and branches as painstakingly as possible. It was very exciting to see and discover the extent to which the roots and the branches have extended by now. In a sense, this family tree gave us a sense of rootedness, of stability, and of pride despite discovering also some painful realities involving our clan. When Jesus became like us, he inserted himself into the family tree of humanity and into the particular genealogy of Mary and Joseph. No matter how much rottenness there may be among some of the branches and fruits, overall, there is that sense of belongingness and rootedness that unites all members. Jesus' line, too, consists of not-so-edifying ancestors. Still, God uses these less-than-perfect characters to be bridges and instruments in the realization of His plan to save in Jesus Christ. Despite the twisted branches and rotten roots that you find in your genealogy, are you able to rejoice over the gift of your lineage?